because I didn't, I didn't really know what to do with them. And when I was getting ready for this tour, um, something told me that it was time to start, to start sharing them. Um, so if it's okay with you, and if spoken words are very cringy to you and you leave, I love you very much. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I'll see you next time. We love mm. you! Thank you. Um, but there's, um, there's something about this show for me every night, and we're almost done with this tour, and the show itself kind of feels like a, a journey of, of, of where I've been, and where I am, and, and where I feel like I'm going, and this I guess this piece in particular, it, it sort of covers all the big questions I've been asking my whole life, over and over. And the more questions I ask, the less, the less I'm not really. Um, but this piece is sort of the big ones, like gender and religion, and spirituality and, and sexuality, and the ones that I kind of keep coming back to. And, my hope is that I can send you back out into the world feeling a little meditative and a little connected with yourself and with who you are. Um, and I hope you can give away some of the love that you felt tonight. Because I really think you only have something if you give it away. So here is me giving this away to you. And two favorite movies, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and The Princess Diaries. They're actually the same movie. An ordinary person is confronted with the knowledge that they are in fact extraordinary. One is a witch, and one is a princess. From frizzy hair to face of the future picture moment, when is someone going to tell me something that I can't see in the mirror? I am going to tell me what I am. Sunday morning, let's say I was 17 years old. Let's say my boyfriend's dad was the preacher. Let's say it was a hip non-denominational church where everyone's welcome. Let's say I did feel the divine channeling a biblical being I knew nothing of. 
Let's say I chased Christianity like it was a leashless dog until I realized I was the dog and I was in a cage and no one played me my favorite movie. They all just walked by and they said, that one's old. You can't teach it new tricks. Brainwashed I was with the oils and the spices from a Walmart aisle. Spices are affordable these days. Not like Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Killing a millennia for cinnamon. The new world. So I put on a dress. When my parents weren't home. When there wasn't an LED screen behind me that said, Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God is my spine grew around a dog cage like a tree imbued in a chain link fence mom i'm sick i want some crushed ice and apple juice i want ginger ale all this time i've been a beaver on autopilot building a dam because it's what my mom did and it's what her dad did and it's what his mom did and it's what her dad did the age old helix and now my river is free. Now I'm in a sundress in my childhood home. Now I'm making sandcastles with my five-year-old self. Now he's telling me, you know how to fly. You are ready. And I reply, I think I am. The despair. I like Jesus because I like to suffer. <laughs> On the worst night of my life, I looked in the mirror and I heard, I swear to God, I heard, it's all going to be okay. Which is what a pastor says after a son who I love has all but taken his life. Overdosed, underage, and oversimplified. It's what my mom said to me when I was five. Found a broken arm under a windbreaker sleeve. It's what Beethoven heard when he refused the morphine. It's what Van Gogh's brother made him believe. It's the reason why one day I'll leave. It's the reason why I'll stay. Get your Bible and rip up every page. And this is what it says. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> the first song that I learned on guitar was a Redemption Song by Bob Marley. My teacher was an old stoner and I was a tiny gay queen. So, <laughs> pirates, yes, they are. I won the Illinois State Fair Teenage Vocal Division of the Talent Show when I was 10. <laughs> Singing Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. <laughs> My fingers weren't strong enough to play the F chord. 
I practice till my fingers fumed and formed calluses. No longer baby feet on hot concrete. I practice till I cried. Oh, love is not a victory march. It's a cold. like a tombstone, but it's actually a cake. It's frosted, and it's painted, and it's covered in sprinkles. And lately, when I'm handed a piece of it on a pink party plate, I eat it, and I drink water, no more Diet Coke, <laughs> no more broken hallelujahs, no more bending beneath the weight of his whim and mercy, no more being a simple man, no more being a man, no more getting robbed by pirates, no more watching movies in cages, no more Mayflowers or Hoover Dams or genocide, no! My destiny is right here, pouring out of this pencil like a fountain in my frosted cake has only two words written on it. I am. <laughs>